everyone. So for today's video, I have this look right here that I have on right now. It's using a lot of warmer colors, lots of reds, an orange, and a burgundy color, and I love the way that it turned out. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys like it too, and let's just jump right into the video. Bye, guys. So to start off the eye makeup look, we're going to be using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base just all over the eyelid and I do blend it underneath the lash line a little bit because we're going to be putting eyeshadows there as well. Then for my first eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie, which is just a great transition color for the crease. And I'm just using a MAC 224 brush just to softly blend it through the crease. And then with Makeup Geek Chickadee, this one is much more yellowy, kind of orange. And this is going in the crease where I put that one, but a little bit more above, blending up towards the brow bone, just so you get that nice gradient effect with the other shadows. Then I'm taking Blanc Type from MAC, and this is just blending through our brow bone just to soften everything up. Then I'm taking this Makeup Forever Bright Red Eyeshadow. It's kind of crazy. I'll put all the names down below in the bottom bar as well. And I'm just using a MAC 217 brush. And this is just blending in the crease. And I'm just building up color slowly. This eyeshadow is insanely pigmented, so pretty easy to build up the color pretty fast. Then I'm going back in with Chickadee just to blend out the edges a little bit. And back with the 217. This eye makeup look is all about blending so just take your time with it. And then I'm taking Bitten from Makeup Geek as well. And this is just going on the outer corner, the outer V area of the eye. Just to add a little bit more definition and depth. And then I'm taking a precise crease brush, taking a little bit more of that bitten color and blending that into the crease just to create that sunset kind of look. And then this is Makeup Geek Corrupt, just a nice super black eyeshadow, and this is going right on the outer corner of the eye. So not too much, just to add a little bit more definition. Then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And we're just patting this on the eyelid with just a finger. It's just going to brighten up this cream color that I'm placing on now. And this is, again, Max Blanc type. We're just putting that on the lid and a little bit on the inner corner. Then just going back with a blending brush to soften the edges. Then I went ahead and did my gel eyeliner with a 210 brush from MAC. And this is the Black Track Fluid Line. And then I'm taking... The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Glamour Wispies from Ardell. And here is the finished eye makeup, which I'm obsessed with. Then for complexion, I'm going to go on to the lower lash line last. So I'm using my favorite L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Just blending that in with a beauty blender all over my skin, making sure to go down the neck so you don't have any harsh foundation line, which is never good. Then taking the NARS Gradient Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And this is going under the eyes on any blemishes you have, kind of to highlight. Then the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in Radiant Rose, just on my cheekbones. And that's going to add a nice highlight as well. Then I blend it in partially with my finger, and then you'll see I go back with the Beauty Blender just to blend that out even further. And I like the effect the Beauty Blender gives. kind of gives you like a dewy finish. Then I'm using Emphasize Highlighting Powder under my eyes, and that's by MAC as well. And then my favorite powder, which you guys see me use in like every tutorial, is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This is just my favorite powder to set my whole makeup on my face. Then for bronzer, I'm using the MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Dark and a Duo Fiber Brush. I don't know why in this video I looked kind of mad too. I wasn't mad. 
I was just in the zone with my makeup. In this, I'm just getting the bronzer on the side of that brush, so it kind of contours, it kind of bronzes a little bit. And I put it in the hollows of my cheeks, all around my forehead, and down my neck and jawline as well. Yes. And then for a blush, I'm using this Illamasqua blush. I believe it's in the color Naked Rose, but I'll have it down below linked in there too as well. I'm just putting that on the apples of the cheeks with a MAC 168 brush. It's just a nice angled precise blush or contour brush. Back on the eyes, I'm taking a coal eye pencil just in a black color on the waterline. And then I already put some of those shadows underneath my eye. I think I used Peach Smoothie and then Chickadee, which I'm blending in right now. And then going in with a smaller brush, I'm just putting that red eyeshadow from Makeup Forever just more precisely to the lower lash line. Don't bring the red down too much because it can tend to make you look a little sick. And I'm just going back and blending it. And then I'm taking that color Bitten again from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to put that with that angled brush again just close to the lashes. And blend it out yet again. And then back to Max Blanc Type with just a small Sigma brush. I'm placing that on the inner corners. And that's pretty much the eye look. Alright guys, so that's basically the face and the eyes done. Then I'm going to do a lip. I'm deciding between two. I'm deciding between Lime Crime Velveteen in Cashmere or the Buxom Full On Lipstick in the color Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. So I don't know which one. I might mix them both. Let's just see. And I'm using the Lip Pencil by MAC in Half Red. So. Alright, so that's them lined. You can also fill them in, but this Brooklyn lipstick by Buxom is like, it's pretty much the same color, so I'm not going to. Alright, so that is the Buxom lip pencil, or a full-on lipstick. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of cashmere right in the center. It's kind of a cool little mixture. You don't have to do this by any means. But I just had both of them and I wanted to try them out because I've never used either one. So, And this is the completed look, you guys. I really, really love the eyeshadow look because I haven't used that Makeup Forever Red shadow before. It's like really intense red. So I wanted to do kind of like a sunset eye kind of a look. Hope you all enjoyed this makeup look. I really like the way it turned out. I hope you guys did too. And if you have any video requests, yeah, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. And I will definitely get to those. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you guys are watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.